Hello everybody, new technical explainer today, which features in-engine footage of Hightail. Pretty exciting, right? Um, this technical explainer in general is about collaboration between the teams. If you're interested in that, you should just read the entire blog post, because I can't summarize it any better than Anna, who wrote the article, did. But there is a small amount of news regarding gameplay and Hightail. The first little bit is here they mentioned we're responsible for the gameplay surrounding the player experience within the main Hytale capital and on player islands. This confirms something called player islands. I don't think we've heard about these before, but my guess would be that they're a sort of personalized space near the capital that you can play on, or it's just an interesting way of calling player worlds. I'm pretty sure it's the first one though. So a lot of this blog post focuses us on the development of launch pads. And when I first saw the title, I thought that that was some sort of like code name for what they would use to collaborate on the game or some sort of online platform. But no, nope, they mean actual legitimate launch pads. And here you can see we have actual in-game footage. Now, people are going to be quick to say, hey, the frame rate, pretty awful. Yes, read this important label at the bottom. It's for demonstration purposes only. But this is cool because we get to see a bit more engine footage and it gives me hope for what the quote unquote real blog post will have whenever it chooses to be released. That didn't make sense, but I'm going to leave it in. So the concept of jump pads is expected kind of. It's a great way to send people around in multiplayer worlds. And I suspect it may also have a bit of integration into Orbis, but we will get to that very shortly. So here they talk about the very first steps of building launch pads. And if we go to this picture, this is not in-game stuff. I'm pretty sure I think that this is more of like flowchart. One of the reasons is these links here, like a Jira ticket is um, to an online collaboration website. Capital reference would be a picture. So I highly doubt that this is in-game. But they mentioned prefab launch pads, which is why I believe that launch pads may have a place in Orbis. So one of this prefab launch pads is to aim and land on a target, which is basically just here's where you want to land, here's how you aim on it. Pretty cool. One of them is the direction of launching the character, and another one is launching a specific direction. So the difference between these two is the character direction one is going to launch in the direction the character is moving, whereas the specific direction is going to overwrite the character's velocity and launch them in a specific direction. We also have some variables that can be applied to jump pads, launch pads, sorry. We have override velocity which is a vector three data type, which basically means that you can choose an X, Y, and Z coordinate for these. I'm not entirely sure how this works because I would expect overwriting to be true or false, but the vector three is what's called a float variable. So it can be any number, including decimal points. There's also a go to target, which I would suspect either means you input a coordinate because again, it's a vector, so you have three things. So you input an X, Y, Z coordinate, and I expect it'll either launch the player to that coordinate in the world or to that coordinate relative to the launch pad. We also have the launch direction, which is quite simply the direction that the character will be launched in. So if you want them to be launched towards like an island, you can kind of control the vectors to make sure that they're launching in that direction and they're not just going straight up and kind of have to figure it out. Then there's use character direction, which is a Boolean. So that means it's either true or false. And this is going to determine if it adds the character's current velocity into the velocity of the character after get lo gets launched. So basically this is if you're walking forward and you hit the jump pad, are you going to keep moving forward or are you just going to move straight up? There's also the launch force, which is pretty simply how far you get launched. Jump launch only, which is an interesting one because it basically means you can walk onto the jump pad and it'll only activate, or launch pad, and it'll only activate if you jump while standing on the launch pad. There's also max height, which sets maximum height you can reach when launched from a launch pad, which is interesting to me because I feel like that would be made up with like launch force, go to target, that sort of stuff. And the player only boolean, which true or false, pretty self-explanatory. If you turn it on, mobs and items and stuff will not be able to use the jump pad. There's also these script functions in the code language Lua U, which is very important because that confirms the language of scripting. Everybody thought it would be Lua, but now it's Lua U. So if you're interested in scripting and modding, probably you want to go learn that language. Here we have a couple scripts. We have get entity forward vector, launch actor, and get last update velocity. 
The only one that's super important in my mind is Launch Actor, which basically, based on some stuff from later in the blog posts, allows you to launch any entity, I guess, so players, items, mobs, without the need of a jump pad. You can just activate this function and have it controlled by something else and it will perform a launch. Now we go back into the blog post and if we scroll down, I do recall somewhere, oh yeah, here, this image has another explanation of all the things from this this image up here but i've already summed those up so we're just going to gloss over that right here we have our very first look at the new in-game code editor slash scripting interface which is very very nice if you are a passionate mod or map maker you will be spending a lot of time looking at this i guess an important part of this blog post that i forgot to mention is that they mention here the function that activates the launch pad is a function called on trigger overlap, which means that a lot of the code will be based within the launch pad itself. And then right here we have our first, I guess, moving footage from the new engine. As you can see, frame rate is janky. Render distance is about like four chunks maybe. Um, but it's cool to see because this is kind of opening away from just still frames. Now we can see more gameplay videos from the engine. And again, hopefully, 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 fingers crossed, this means that we're going to get more detailed footage in the blog post whenever it comes. And that blog post being the winter, whatever year it is, 2024 development update. But this frame rate also makes me fairly certain they're not going to have any large amounts of gameplay because why would you show f gameplay that's at 12 FPS? Probably the next blog post is going to be a faction deep dive. And that is it for this blog post. It's pretty interesting from a technical standpoint. I personally preferred the last technical explainer, but this one is pretty good as well. And hopefully within the week, we'll, we will have the winter 2024 development update, which I'm very excited for, unless it lands on one of my finals. And then I'm going to be very sad because I won't be able to make a video about it. You might have noticed that I haven't posted many videos since the summer. That's not because I'm done with Hytale. I'm very motivated to make Hytale videos. I'm just absurdly busy between my school and working and other stuff. That being said, school is over kind of now we're just doing finals and once finals are done i will be grinding out that hightail content so plenty of reason to look forward to that as well as i got a sponsorship from a game company called Jamango, and now i'm going to be making videos for their youtube channel which is very exciting so look forward to that hightail devs please drop the winter 2024 blog post within the next three days otherwise i will be in like an alternating timeline of finals and I will not be able to make a video so please 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 for my sake drop the blog post within three days or I will be so sad thanks everybody for watching bye bye